going to redo the safety brief. Right? Again, contact and control. If you have an injury, you have an issue. Every time you change up the partner, let them know. Okay? Make sure that you tell them clearly what's wrong and what we can do. And again, dial up, dial down your contact level. If you're working with someone not working to your level, dial down to that level. The Gary's, you guys just work with each other. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, having said that, some of you guys are going to want to rock and roll, that's cool. But make sure everyone's on the same page before we do that. Make sure that we're all clear, yeah, we're good to go. Right. While the instructional process is going on, please just do what the instructor is telling you to do. Let's not add lead. Okay, That's more so for a safety standpoint, and that's regardless of whoever's teaching. Okay. So let's make that a big thing. Later on, guys, if we're getting into the what if and you know, what do you do, what do we do, that's great. By all means, go for it. Have that conversation. You know, speak the physical or verbal language, whichever one you want. Okay. Um, the other thing is we have the first aid kit there as well as a fully functioning CFIB. How many people do we have current senior first aid accredited? Like that. Okay, if we have any issues, if I'm here, I'll be primary. Mr. Bill will be tertiary. So, can you take that off? Thank you. Roger that. So, here's the thing. Um, if we have any clashes in relation to accidental or otherwise, and there's blood spill, everyone else is to move away. That person will remain in place. We will then come and clean you up. There is toilets and bathrooms there. We will take you there, okay, and deal with that. But everyone else is to stay clean. Cool on that? Um, I will now pass over to Mr. Bill for anything I've <coughs> got. Uh, guys, just again, have fun. Um, make sure you're respectful for your opponent and for the training partners you work with. Like we said, there's going to be times where you're going to get together afterwards, and this is the beauty of having such a confluence of, of different groups come together and share knowledge. And I say that literally, share knowledge you physically and verbally and share what you know. Um, do your seminars, do exactly as you're asking the seminars, when we've got the break times and stuff after that. Play to your heart's content, but do it safely. Mr. Jubinka. I'd like to say thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you, Mr. Donald, Mr. Billman, Mr. Ellis, for having me here. Um, I'm very excited. Um, already, I'm feeling the energy in the room and the spirit in the room, which is fantastic. Everyone's come up to me and introduced themselves, so I thank you for that. So I'm looking forward to just, um, really just hanging out with you guys and, and learning from you guys. And hopefully you can learn something from me, but let's just all have some fun.
actually say? No. What does that actually state? What is that telling us? What is that sort of statement about? Those words penned by Ed Parker all those years ago. But it's a sacred right of everyone to be able to defend herself, isn't it? Yeah? A sacred right. I come to you with only karate, empty hands. I have no weapons, but should I be forced to defend myself, my principles, or my honour, should it be a matter of life or death, of right or wrong, then here are my weapons, karate, my empty hands. Which is better, that or no? <laughs> Which has more spirit? That was it. Okay. It's a bit more passionate, isn't it? All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to partner off. And what I'd like you to do, with your partner, is I'd like you to tell each other that story. Say it to each other, and try and make it a little bit more passionate to how you just did it. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I know it's stupid, but that's what we're going to do. So get a partner and just go for it. Go for it. Be expressive. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's designed to stir up that fighting spirit in you. You know, those words are very powerful words. You know, if you look at it, sit down, take the time to look at them, see how you feel about them and what they mean, you know, they're very powerful. But very often, you know, it's just brushed aside. Or it's just spoken very quickly in the beginning of class. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, uh, we're just going to have another go at it then. Because what you were doing were, you were running your scripts. And everyone has uh, behavioral scripts, and they just, when they get into something reasonably familiar, they'll just run, and they'll just switch off. So I want you to sort of go at it again, and be conscious about what you're doing, and I'd like you to be a little bit more expressive. Okay, and then we're going to transfer it into something else. Just for a couple of seconds, please bear with me. Bear with me. All right, let's go. You don't have to stand in the middle of the table. Or stand. <laughs> Okay? 
So the attention to detail is very important. And what you put on your hard drive is very important because that is what's going to come out. And you have no choice, it will instinctively come out because it's been internalized. Okay? And that's why we must pay particular attention to the quality of our basics, and the quality of our targeting and our weaponry, and how we then make our connections with our power principles and all the other principles involved to generate that power. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes. The more attention that you pay to that detail, and the more that you feel comfortable with what the quality you're putting in, the more confident you will grow. Okay? And you want to grow with quiet confidence and humility, and not with ego. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Okay, so if you have an honest marriage with our art, an honest marriage with your warriorship, and you dedicate yourself and really work hard at that, you will be a well-rounded, uh, confident martial artist. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Okay. So, I'd like you... The other thing that happens is this. Human beings are got a lot of water in us, haven't we? I'm not sure what the percentage is. Water likes to find the easiest route, doesn't it? Okay? So when you get something familiar that you want to practice, surely hammer as an example, you run a script. Your mind will switch off and you run a script. A script. And so everything that you do will be what you've done previously, previously, before that. Okay? To break that, what you have to do is train consciously. You have to stop and say to yourself, hang on a second, I need to really look at what I'm doing. And you go back to primitive stages, primitive, mechanical, spontaneous. You heard of that? Every stage of learning? So you, want, you need to go back to primitive and analyze and look at what you're doing. Okay? And it's a slow process. It's not a fast process. Okay? So what happened just now when I said about the hammer fist? Some of you started targeting and changing the target and looking at it and placing your others, and others just went back. You carry on doing exactly what you were doing before. Because you're just running scripts. Okay? I want you to get the most out of this possible. So, we're going to go back again, and I'd like you to consciously train this time. Look at what you do. Okay? Give it a go. Thank you. So, we go back to this position, and I hammer him. And in the standard technique, there's a shuffle with the elbow. What's that power principle? Back up mask, yeah? Back up mask. We use the point of the elbow and hit it, yeah? I'm being kind, I'm going to do that. Should be able to dip the elbow to get in up into the sort of I'm sure you do that. Yeah? What we're going to do though is a short change this. Come into this back and hold the back and pop the sound of the elbow. And then. <coughs> Does that make sense? Yes. Have you got that? Yes. You showed sure it off. You're not even aware of the box, are you? You saw that as an image in the image. Okay, did I hit you? No, sir. Are you hurt? No, no, sir. Okay, was it really fast? Yes, sir. It was. So, what did you see? Control. Yes. And that's what we're looking for respect for each other's bodies, okay? All right, let's go for it. Remember, Mr. Clark is showing this. So this is something from Mr. Clark. Okay. And that's my memory is not screwed. Is that very interesting? All righty. So he shoots his punch, and I drop back and I get my block. Okay. I see quite a few of you shuffling. Okay. This is what would happen. I'm going to, it's not going to be one punch, is it? No. <laughs> So here it comes, I'm going to leave with my face, followed by the punch. So if you're shuffling, you're getting in too close. Because that second punch is going to be coming. Does that make sense? Yes, so listen. What I do is no shuffle. <laughs> okay? With this action here, if that other punch is going quicker, it's already coming through as it has that in the wall. Anyway. But the distance is this close. What happens when I smash his face? Where is he going? He's, he's going to go like this. Start to go back, isn't he? Yeah? Okay, so I get my block and hammer. Come in with a bat knuckle. 
You squat it. I'm striking right in the solar plexus. Why are we getting the back? Why does the elbow go there in the technique? Let's see your back to the back. Bring the head forward. Bring the head forward. Anything else? Not the wind out of Pardon? Not the wind out of Not the wind out of it. We're going to hit that nerve cluster on, on that diaphragm there, and we're, the diaphragm's going to go into spasms. We're going to, that's the idea. That's the idea of the elbow. You use the point of the elbow to hit that specific target. Okay? Or here, we're using the back. And rather than just use your arm, you generate more power if I use my body <coughs> a little bit of weight behind, which is what I'd like to see you do. When you hit him there, what's he going to do with his arms? Okay, come right up and going to hit him with his heel palm, sand the elbow. You're going to brace the face so it doesn't ride off into space. <laughs> you heard that term before? No, I what I feel, the breathing, the, that word is different to pushing, pulling is different to pushing. Does that make sense? Yes, so 
My breathing for this, my mind in turn for this, is different to this shot, it's different to this, it's different to this. But it changes. And it's a difficult thing to kind of grasp at first. So pick one thing, one of those movements, and start to imagine what would happen if I really popped you with that one. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Okay. Is this helpful? Yes, sir. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Oh, you're all seriously mad. Let's go. Keep <laughs> our skeleton in alignment. The engineering of that is crucial. Okay? That keeps our muscles and tendons in alignment. But it's crucial to do that. So some of you are maybe a little shorter and you're doing this and then your shoulders and you're doing the side of the elbow. Is it short? <laughs> so, some of you are just like this and lift the shoulders. If you take the shoulders out of position, then you're weakening what you're doing. If I take this young man's arm, okay, I'm going to push you. Alright, lift your, relax your shoulder. If I take the shoulder out, okay. <laughs> See what's happening? You see you've lost all that strength. And the shoulders in the wrong position, the muscles can't work. So if you're doing that to yourself when you're striking something, does that make sense? No, it's not. Absolutely not. It's ridiculous. Okay? So you need to pay attention to that. Keep your shoulders down. If you're a shorter person and uh, you can't quite reach off or you can't reach with this, there should be a reaction to this where they should drop a little. But it's this hand that does the gathering. Okay? So it's not like this is a heel palm and it pulls in onto the elbow. Does that make sense? Yes. yes. Okay? A lot of people miss that. They just think, oh, it's, it's this. No, this is a heel palm strike hitting right on the side of the head. Okay? So if they're a little bit taller, you can whack them and bring them down and hit them with the elbow. But don't lift your shoulders, please. Okay? Let's go. Somebody on the skull through the hammer. You're going to do yourself some damage. Okay? So you want to make a fist. That's important. Okay? Um, gosh, there's so much to share. Okay, let me see. Uh, what I want you to do is do the cover out with the technique. You all do cover outs? Yes, 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 yes. Let's see. Let's go. <laughs> save your life. There's a specific way of doing them, which is really important. Okay? Sorry for you guys who got this the other night, but you can't do it again. Show me <laughs> The idea is we need to disengage from him in the safest possible way, get away from that position, and fully be aware of what's around us if there are any other threats. Does that make sense? Yes. So the angles that we take are really important. The footwork that we use is important. And the way that we scan the combat arena is very important. Okay? So this works on the idea that you're going to step into a zone of sanctuary. Do you understand what that is? Yes. What is it? Okay, so, have you seen the diagram before where there's a circle and a square inside? And have you seen it where there is a square inside a circle? Or the other way around, sorry, a circle inside a square? So there are two. Okay, so this is actually represented by a circle inside a square. And where the circle does not touch the corner areas, those are zones of sanctuary. So if I've got that square and I've put it on the floor, Here's a square. I need to cover my right through this direction. Because there's the corner, so I need to be in this corner. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I work my technique, boom, pop in, drop in, and I need to go off in this direction. When I get to here, then we're going to go front twist that to protect my groin. Okay? Can you can you reach me? So, you go into that 45 
you take that step, that's where you disengage and you check. You step out the same line and you check him. Then I'm going to drop back on the same line, check here, and back at him. And I'm coming directly here. What's happening, what I see, is you do your thing, and you're doing this. So here's the thing. He's trying to knock my block off. He shoots that punch, I block him, I smash his nose off, okay? Wing him, break his jaw, rupture his testicles. Where does he think I, where is his memory of where I am? Where is it? It's here. Okay. Yeah? So suddenly, I'm a ninja, and I disappear over here. He still thinks I'm there. That's what it said. That's called ghosting, right? Yes, sir. Meanwhile, I'm here, and then I'm covering out in style, out of the room, and I'm gone. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. It's really important you do that. If you're training yourself to go like this, you're walking right back into the situation. Okay? I don't know if you've heard the story. There was a, a, a policeman in New York, and he trained religiously with his partner, gun disarms. So he'd take a gun, disarm you, or disarm, hand back the gun to the guy, so they hold the gun, and they do this. One day he got called out to a domestic. He went in with his partner. The guy in there pulled the gun on him. He disarmed him straight away. Okay. Gave him the gun back. <laughs> his partner had to shoot him. He trained himself to do that. And that came out because it was instinctive. Does that make sense? Yes, yeah, it's, it's a savvy stuff. This is really interesting stuff. He ran the script which he had programmed into himself. When that reptilian brain kicked in, when he was threatened, suddenly that's what came out. So that could happen to you. You could defeat this opponent in style. Look really good, you do a real good job, do the full technique which never happens, do a weird sort of cover out, don't walk into somebody else, or back, you know. You're just training yourself to fail. There's no need to do that. If you pay attention to detail, you can do it right. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, have you got that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Awesome. Let's do that very quickly, please. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I hope that there's some different sort of information. Yes, sir. Who loves this art? Yes, sir. You all love this art? Yes, sir. It's wonderful, isn't it? This is almost just a part of the actually, a slight difference. I first saw that in 78. Brown belt took his uniform out of his bag and there was a patch on black. He touched my body. I don't know if I can keep talking about that. <laughs> touched my body, that patch. Beautiful. Okay, so. Stand in a meditating horse stance for me, please. Get your hands on your hips. Sorry, if I can spit on this. <laughs> and I'd like you to do blocking step one or start block step. Go. Awesome. Awesome. Probably the first thing you learn, isn't it? One of the first things that you learn. When you do the doubles, every time you do the doubles, you make the shape of this beautiful crest. There's the root, there's the outer parts, there's the curves, there's the top of the axe, there's the axe. Isn't that beautiful? Yes, uh, so you were doing that all that time and you didn't know that? Yes, sir. See, that, that gives me something inside. It's like, oh my god. Things like that which make it very, very special, and there's lots of them. Lots of them. Okay. Could we, um, could we line up this way, facing this way for a minute? Don't no matter the thing, right? I just want to do a couple of lines. Just do a finish on this thing, please. Does anyone have any questions, by the way? Give yourself some space, come forward. I know 
teaching you and I started to remember
And then what comes next? Conceal your treasure. It is a treasure. Hug it. My, oh my. Yeah? You love it. That's the art. That's the art. You love it. So hug it. Feel it. Don't go through it. Feel it. Mm. Anyone into the Chinese arts here? Any tai Chi or anything? No? You know what yin yang is? You stick your thumb in there, can you see the yin yang? I do quite see as well, so sometimes when I do this, I make that connection, put my thumb there. And, <laughs> and it's things like that that give you that little, a little bit of zing. And then we have this. What's this? Pray. 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 Who are we praying to? If you're told by that, who the hell am I praying to? Um, I was told that it's remorse if you don't believe in God or anything like that. It's a kind of remorse that you've done. Yes. It's not any specific goal because it's not religious. You're praying to whatever you believe. Okay. And then we come up and we do this heart shape. And then there are these two claws. Starting at the feet of the hands, followed by the fingers. Are you aware of that? Do you do it? Okay. And it should be closed to the point. Point. Okay, so there's a, yeah, there's a martial arts application. Fast, powerful focus when we do our salutation. 
It's your personal statement of your fighting spirit and your martial arts ability. It's your signature. Be proud of it, develop it, put some character into it. Make something up. Does that make sense? Yes, Does that get a little smiley in there? Yes, yeah, it's great, isn't it? That's what this is about. Getting that smiley going. Yeah. Okay, any questions on what we've done so far? That's your selfish bunch. You can't ask me questions. How am I going to learn? Huh? Okay. Uh, so, when we talk about the heel pump, Utilizing the heel kind of drag the person down and into the elbow. Um, we, a lot of us thought that that is an elbow sandwich, so you have to keep the energies. Yes, and fluids ready to be packaged in and inside it. When we break that, what's that call with the ratio difference between that? When we break it and drag it in to the elbow as opposed to using the two at the same time. Oh, you're after the terminology, sir. I have absolutely no idea. Okay, we've got all that now. I've no idea. Actually, I'm going to be. Sir, guys, if you don't ask questions, he's going to beat the ever living daylights out of me later. Can somebody please ask some questions? No, I'm not trying, man. I'm not trying, bro. Come on, I'm just talking. That's good. Okay. Right, we're out of time. There is a bit of time for some questions. That's correct, sir, yes. Okay. I am approachable. Okay. Please come up and talk to me and ask questions. Do all that stuff because it's important that you get the most out of this that you possibly can. Everything that I've shown you are ideas. Make sure you stick to what your instructor tells you to do. That's really important. Okay? Fantastic. You're a great group. I'm looking forward to doing some more with you later on. Let's bow this way. Of course, that's it. Hello.